Hello, people. This is Stephanie. This is Talk Tales and Trivia. And this is the show that talks about topics of American pop culture, today's American pop culture. Today, I'd like to talk about something that is kind of cool and very, very near and dear to me. And that is why I am the only one who loves Judge Judy and the lessons I've learned from her throughout the years about people and the law which I've learned a lot of lessons. She's been around for 20 years, and she's really been kind of like a role model to me, believe it or not. Some people would beg to differ, but she has been a role model to me. You know, she premiered in 1996, and she revitalized the court show genre after networks tried to make other court TV shows popular. You know, when I was growing up, it was the People's Court with Judge Wapner. Who remembers that? I do. She was a great replacement kind of judge for after the People's Court kind of went away. And um, it's back on the air, but with a different kind of twist to it. But anyway, that was a show that I loved. So I was kind of out of the judge shows. And then I came back after Judge Judy came on the air. And I've actually watched it since 1996 without stopping. And she's done more than 5,000 episodes within the past 20 years, and that's a lot of episodes, and so she really must know what she's doing, and she does have an audience of 10 million people. So when anyone says to me they don't like Judge Judy, well, 10 million people love her, and she is somebody that we can really relate to. So that's very important. You know, she graduated from New York Law School, and she has the highest paid salary and she's the highest paid person on television with no absolutely no cancellations or temporary endings in the series run. Judge Judy also enjoys the longest lasting individual production life of any court show. So you have to give her credit for that. You have to give her a lot of credit for that. And she really is how she is on TV. She really is a straight shooter. So that's really good. What makes a show work? Well, it's her sarcastic TV personality. That's what makes a show work. That's why I watch. I can't wait to see what she says next to her, her, uh, the people on the show and her plaintiffs and defendants. And she's sometimes mean and she's always direct and she's very straight and tells it like it is. And she's very vocal about plaintiffs and defendants and bad grammar and life choices. As we know, she will let you know how she feels about that without fail. So she's pretty cool. My favorite quote is, beauty fades, but stupid lasts forever, which is completely true. And I agree with that. Sometimes people don't agree with the way she goes about making her decisions or talking to people, but that's how she gets results. And that is how she finds out how people really are. And that's what people gravitate towards when they watch her show, because then a person says, wow, you know what? That's not a smart choice. That's not a smart decision. Maybe Judge Judy's right about that. So she does, in her own way, have a sense of what will make people better people if they watch the show. So that is my own kind of feeling about that. I've been watching for, like I said, 20 years, and I have actually learned a lot about people and the law. So her personal philosophy is very interesting, and it's something that we should all aspire to. It's stay with your strong suit and concentrate on what you are naturally adept at. That's something that we forget. And we get into careers or into life choices that aren't uh, what we are really good at. And Judge Judy reminds us every day that she loves what she does. And she loves being a part of the television community. And she loves being a part of people's lives. And she is a strong person, strong woman that every girl or young woman or woman of any age should look up to because she's only done what she loves to do. And that is the truth about that. I really love hearing stories and thinking, "Mm, you know, what would Judge Judy have said about this or that? And the quotes just go on and on. If you go onto Facebook, you can find many, many quotes that Judge Judy has said and have stuck with people throughout the years because her quotes have, she's keeps repeating them because they are so true. Throughout the 20 years, people have never stopped being quote unquote stupid in her book. So beauty fades, but stupid lasts forever is my favorite quote. And I know that a lot of people like that quote as well. So ask me a question about neglectful pet sitting, unlawful running, or unlawfully running a red light that causes an accident or a relationship woe. That's what she really loves is relationship woes, whether it be, uh, you know, 
people that live together or people that are married or splitting up a person's stuff from living together in a house. And um, I'll tell you something. Her cool little fact is that Petri Hawkins Bird, the the court show's bailiff, was also Shineland's Judge Judy's bailiff throughout the, her career in the Manhattan family court system. A cool fact is that Petri Hawkins Bird, the court show's bailiff, this I can't believe, the court show's bailiff for 20 years on TV, was also Shineland's bailiff throughout the, her career in the Manhattan family court system. I think that's cool. That It's an interesting story because when she got the show 20 years ago, Petri Hawkins Bird was her friend from Manhattan Family Court System and wrote her a very, very nice note. And it said, you know, congratulations and haha, if you ever need a bailiff, give me a call. And she did. She actually called him to be the bailiff on the Judge Judy show. So I, that's kind of a cool thing. And, you know, her popularity has rewarded her a place in the Guinness World Records. I bet you didn't know that. And in September of 2015, and she has a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So that's kind of cool, too. Uh, and she knows her own worth and is not afraid to walk away if she doesn't get the outcome that she deserves when she's making a ruling or if for any reason. And that sounds like good advice for anybody. If you're not getting the outcome that you deserve or that you think you're worth, it's important that you know and you believe that you can walk away. It's like walking away from the negotiation table. You walk away if you're not getting the results you need. And that is something that I have learned throughout the 20 years that Judge Judy has been on the air. And I do admit it, I'm a Judge Judy junkie. A Judge Judy junkie I have been for the past 20 years. I absolutely love her. She is worth her price in gold. I'll tell you something. She is refreshing in a very strong and direct way. And there is nothing quite like having a cup of tea with Judge Judy that makes my day. You know something? Every day at 4 p.m. for the past 20 years, I have been watching her. And if I was working uh, somewhere that was, you know, in a, a building or working away from working outside the home, I would uh, DVR it. And back 20 years ago, cable was kind of new to me, but I had the first, practically <laughs> the first DVR. I had one of the first DVRs ever made. So I used to record it on DVR and watch it 10 o'clock at night, whenever. But I used to be very faithful about watching it as I am today. And I always get cozy with a cup of tea and my cat in my lap. And I make a point to watch Judge Judy. And I learn something every day from her. And part of it is how to treat people and how not to treat people, how to know when to walk away from a situation and when to try harder at a situation. There's many lessons you can learn from Judge Judy, and it doesn't have to be that she's mean. It has to do with the fact that she knows her own self-worth, and she wants other people to know their own self-worth. And that is a part of the lesson that you learn from Judge Judy when you do watch the show, and you are part of that subculture. We've talked about subculture before, that Judge Judy subculture that is very faithful and very, very loyal to her and her beliefs and learn from her. That's the end result is that you can learn a lot from people that you don't even like. If you say you don't like Judge Judy, it doesn't mean you can't learn from her. And there's something to be said about, mm, I don't really like what she's saying to me, but you know what? I'm going to take it in. I'm going to absorb it. And I'm going to learn a lesson from that. So that is my takeaway from Judge Judy. And I plan to watch her at four o'clock today and tomorrow and the next day and the next and the next and the next. So she is really a great example of a woman that actually got what she wanted, started out in the Manhattan court system and made her way up and became very successful. And now she makes more than $47 million a year. And she has been extremely, extremely bright, funny, witty, and you can learn your lessons from her. So that is a takeaway lesson that I've learned. And it took me a long time to realize that, that I was actually learning something from a show that I was actually 
enjoying and you can actually have it on as background noise as background sound while you do other things and you can still learn from the uh, expertise of judge judy so again beauty fades but stupid lasts forever don't forget that i'd love to know what you think about judge judy or anything really about people and the law and i'd actually love to know if you want to use if you plan to use any of this information as your own trivia Let's get something going. What kind of trivia could you use from this show about Judge Judy? And who loves Judge Judy? Me. Nobody else. Me. I'm the only one, it seems, that loves Judge Judy. But I've learned a lot of lessons, and I've learned the law, and I hope that you uh, benefit from Judge Judy and her lessons about life and the law. I'd love to know what you think about this. And as you know, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can always email me at talktalesandtrivia at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with another great show on something else that is important and is a topic of American pop culture. My name is Stephanie, and I'll see you next week.